good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brother and sister of this world. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a message, and the title of this message is, Are You Really Doing the Will of God? Are you really doing the will of God? Hallelujah. And the scripture reading is going to be coming from the book of Matthew chapter 21 to 28. And I read. Not everyone who say to me, Lord, 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 will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. 22. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name we drive out demons? And in your name we perform many miracles? 23. Then I will tell them, plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. 24. Therefore, anyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. 25. The rain comes down and scream, rose, and the wind blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. 26. But anyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. 27. The rain comes down, the stream rolls, and the wind blew and beat against that horse, and it fell with a great crash. 28. Then Jesus had finished saying these things. The crowd was amazed at his teaching. Hallelujah. So the Bible is telling us right now that are you doing the will of God? That is the topic today. Are you? Because from the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 28, 21 says that, you know, on that day, many people are going to come, they're going to, you know, the, the people, they, right now, on this earth right now, they are the pastor, preachers, you know, church members them. They think that because they called in the name of the law, 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 it means that they're going to enter heaven. No. By you calling the name of the law, 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 you will not enter heaven. By you going to the church every day, is that what going to make you to enter heaven? By doing his will, doing things that will bring glory and honor to him. You got the book of Matthew 5 and those 16 say, Let your light shine before all men when they see your good way, they're going to glorify your father who is in heaven. Like even the, the, the heathen glorify God because of your, 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 your attitude. Hallelujah. By you doing the word of God, that is the only thing that will make you to enter heaven. Because some people are going to start saying, you know, Oh Lord, did we not perform miracles in your knee? Did we not do this? We, we healed a lot of people in your knee. Did we not? The Lord's going to say a plain. Verse 23. And I will tell them plain that I don't know you. Now by you going to the honor world to go and receive power to come and perform miracles, it means that you are doing the will of God. You are fake. Because your power is not, is not, is not from God. It's from the devil. Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of God. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, oh, it's like, Jesus said, those who do the will of God are somebody who build his heart on a solid rock that when the wind comes, whatever situation will not move the house. 
But if you do not do the will of God, you are like a man who built his hut on the sand. When the wind comes, when heaven storm comes, it's going to fall. It's going to collapse. Because that's the same way that you don't know God. You don't apply His will. Let me give you a common example. For the book of Acts chapter 17, verses 11. Acts 17, verses 11. There is, if you do this thing there, then you're going to see what's going to happen. Acts 17, 11. Now the very ten Jews were of more noble character than those in Thessalonica. For they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scripture every day to see if what Paul said was true. When the pastor or whosoever preached the word of God to you, according to the book of Acts chapter 7, in the 17 verse 11, when Paul went and preached to the Berean Christians, when he preached to them, oh, they, they, as soon as he got to preaching when they went home, they opened the scripture to see whatever he said, it was true. They did it every day. As I'm talking to you right now, some of you people, your barber is like a, a, a dust, a, 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 almost like that guy named Dust Rose. That, that's the name of your barber right now. Dust the Rose. Your barber so so dust on it. Then it'll be so shameful, son of money. Then you look at yourself, son of money, then you wipe the dust on it to go to church. Wiping the dust to go to church. Oh my God. What a shame. Dust the road, Baba. Your Baba is going to be clean because if you stand, if you continue to open the Baba every day, that Baba is going to be clean. It's going to be those old looks, special Baba. But now a dust the road, Baba. Hallelujah. You see the Berean Christian after Paul got preaching the day, they were who they kept on searching the scripture every day. The Bible said every day to see what Paul preached to them if they was true. Sometimes we, right now I get them Acts chapter seventeen verses eleven. They ain't get time. As long as I, I just say when well, the next time uh, they ain't get time for it. Be like a Berean Christian, get a pen, mark them down to see what all I'll say is true. Hallelujah, my people. Be on fire for Jesus because the time is running near. Yeah, the time is running near. So don't be like those people who do not hear the word of God. When they hear the word of God, they don't practice it in their life. God said, you're going to be like the man who bear his house on the sand. When the wind comes, the rain comes, heaven storm comes, it's going to wipe it away, it's going to collapse. But if you are a Christian who implement and let, and apply God's word and, and stand in every day, you, you're going to be like the man who bear his heart on the sun of rock. Nothing can touch it. Hallelujah. And let me read again. This time around, I'm going to be reading from the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 40, 6 to 49. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 6. Verse 46 to 49. And I read. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? 47. As for everyone who comes to me and hear my words and put them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man who built a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood comes, the torrent stuck that house but could not shake it because it was built well. It was well built. 49. But the one who hears my words and does not put it or put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground with all its 
foundation. The moment the tourist stuck that horse, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. You see, I'm not like the first one we read from the book of Matthew. I mean, from the book of, uh, yeah, Matthew. Matthew 21, verses, I mean, chapter 7, verse 21 to 28. I'm the same. But this time around, if, if when you obey God, you apply God's words in your life, it's like a man who was paying a horse, he dug all, he dug the hole all the way down and, 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 set, and, and, uh, and set a foundation on a rock that when the storm comes, that hole will be solid. Nothing can touch that house. But if you do not obey God's words, you are like a man who trying to obey a house with no foundation. When the storm comes, any kind of a, a, a torrent comes, it's going to yes, wipe it away. It's going to collapse. It will be destroyed. But if you are a child of God, you obey God's words and do everything that God tells you to do all the time, you're going to bear your house in the foundation with solid on a rock that nothing going to touch it. So the difference is, as a child of God, you got to do God's will. When you do God's will, you're going to be on a solid rock. That no storm, no torrent, no wind, nothing can shake that house. Nothing can destroy that house. But if you're not a child of God, you don't obey God, you are like a man who bears a house on the sand. When any storm comes down, any torrent comes down, it's going to wipe it away. It's going to de be destroyed. Hallelujah. My people, are you doing the word of God? Or are you going to church to that gossip? Or are you going to church to get to show your shoes, your, your dress, your trousers, your coat? Is that why you call the word of God? The word of God is applying what God says in the Bible. If you have the upper time of doing good for people, go ahead and do it. Don't do it with in a reluctance or grumbling. Cheerfully. Do God's will. Go around here, people. Do good to people. Do not expect pain about it. The Bible says when you do good to somebody that you know and you it's not good because you that person one of these days gonna pay you back. But do good to people who you know and they, they can't pay you back. That is the word of God right there. The word of God says that, oh yeah, do not keep animosity in your heart against one another. Because bitterness, you can't enter heaven. Do not keep grudge against one another. Try to carry one another burden. When someone is going through the circumstances in their life, fear for them. When they rejoice, you rejoice for them. When they cry, cry with them. Now some people don't always want to see somebody in trouble. Hey, I said it, I said it. <laughs> I said, I know the people are not going to stay together for long. Look at that. Wicked thinking. Evil thinking. God is watching you. You don't know what goes around, comes around. As you say, your mouth is going to be transferred. It's going to come right back. It's going to reverse. It's going to happen to you one of these days. But when somebody is going through the second standard, that condition in the left, feel for them. Pray for them. That I'm going to get out of it. My people... Are you doing the will of God? You're not. If you're not, you ask God for forgiveness. And He's going to be with you. He's going to guard and protect you. Please do the will of God. Let us pray. My God, my Lord, I thank you for the message. I thank you for everything that you have given me. I pray, God, I ask you for wisdom. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.